It's chicken. <laughs> what the f All right, friends, we have successfully made chicken with chicken skin. We have successfully breaded cauliflower to make KFC. We have successfully turned bean juice into an egg substitute. So what happens when we mix all of those together? We get the most lifelike Kentucky Fried Chicken you've ever had. So today I thought it would be fun for you and I together to test out to see if we can take that epic fried chicken recipe, the drumsticks, and combine it with a couple other techniques that I've learned over the years to make the best vegan fried chicken ever. I mean, I think it'll work. I found the leaked KFC recipe, veganized that. For that, I'm going to use soy milk and aquafaba as the binder. I've combined the famous secret 11 spices along with some flour. I'm gonna hope that this Rice paper skin acts like the crackling, like crispy skin that is Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right guys, if you are new here, I'm Candice. Hello, welcome to my channel for the first time or welcome back. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on new videos that I put out every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. If you like these types of videos, you wanna see more of them, let me know by hitting that subscribe button and let me know in the comment section below if you, you know, you're know you loving this type of video and also what you would like me to veganize next. First thing I'm going to do, last night I cooked up whole jackfruit just in the same broth, the same technique that I made my fried chicken recipe out of. I'm going to mash that together. What The reason why I did this is because I wanted it to be a bit odd in shape and I wanted to have more structural integrity. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And then I'm just going to do everything else the same. I'm going to wrap it in rice paper. I'm gonna set them here, let them sit there and then put together the breading agent and then also the breaded flour. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just squeezing out as much of the liquid as possible. I'm also popping out any of the little seeds that are left over. After doing this recipe a couple times, I found that I was just wasting so much time just cutting it and trying to squeeze everything out when it was hard. When it's soft like this, it's a lot easier and you can pop out. Look at that seed. I don't, it kind of looks like a kidney. <laughs> Gross. Just a bit. And you want to make sure that you're getting as much of the liquid out of here as possible. All right, fun little fact. Juicy fruit, the gum, was actually inspired by jackfruit. So the flavor itself was inspired by jackfruit. Ripe jackfruit specifically, not the young stuff that we're using, but ripe jackfruit, like if you can find it, is one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten. It's so good. You can also get it dried as well. I have my bowl of water here. I am just softening my rice paper. And we're going to take oddly shaped combinations of these guys and wrap them up so we get a nice, fried chicken feel. So the great thing about the original recipe for this is that you have your like original chicken flavor now and then you can tailor it to be whatever kind of chicken that you want. So just using different spices and techniques you can really make it your own and, and mimic really popular dishes that maybe you miss since you've gone vegan since so many of us go vegan not because we don't like meat but because we are not here for the animal cruelty or we're doing it for the environment. So this is a really great way to keep some of those favorite flavors that you love so much. All right, we have our spices here, herbs and spices. So we have salt, dried thyme, dried basil, oregano, celery salt, black pepper, dried mustard powder, paprika, garlic salt, ground ginger, white pepper. So you have two different types of pepper and two different types of salt. Also MSG. So the MSG is completely optional. You can leave it out. If you do add it, definitely reduce the salt by half, but I want it to be the most authentic that it could be. So the recipe called for MSG, so I'm using MSG. Now I'm going to take two cups of flour and add it to a bowl and then add our spices. We are whisking. You wanna make sure that that is well combined. Look at that. There's so many spices, it completely changed the color of the flour. It's super fragrant. It's very pungent. 
Now let's mix together the wet portion of our wet to dry mixture. All right, step one, we are making vegan buttermilk. All you have to do is take one cup of soy milk and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and mix it together. Let it sit for a couple minutes. We are going to take our aquafaba, put it into a bowl. This is going to be our binding agent and I'm just going to whisk that. Now, while I'm whisking, I'm going to add in the vegan buttermilk. All right, I'm going to bread it now. First thing I'm going to do is toss it into the seasoned flour. I'm using the dry hand and wet hand method here. So with my dry hand, which is this hand, I'm just tossing it completely in the flour. Then I'm placing it into the aquafaba mixture and I'm using this hand, which is my wet hand. Just coating it completely, tossing it back in there, using my opposite hand again, the dry hand. Just making sure it's completely coated. Mmm, there we go. All right, again, dusting it off, placing it back in here. And one more time into the flour. And then lay it onto the wire cooking rack or cooling rack to rest for a couple of minutes while you do the rest of your cutlets or drumsticks or breasts or whatever you wanna call these guys. They look so good. They're just, you know, they're sitting here, they're getting their R&R, &R. I'm letting them rest. Instead of throwing the cutlets into the oil and then kind of having the breading fly all over the place, have you ever deep fried something and it just slides away from the breading? This is allowing the breading to adhere to the rice paper skin. <laughs> Fun fact, when you are deep frying, if you don't have a deep fryer and you're doing it on the stove, pop a popcorn kernel into your oil and at 325, it pops and then your oil's ready. This looks amazing. It smells like a KFC in here. Don't know how I feel about that. I definitely will probably have to wash my hair later. What if we tried to make that uh, chicken sandwich? You know how everyone's like losing their mind about like the best chicken sandwich, he was the best chicken sandwich. Now I know that this is KFC style chicken, but I was thinking of replicating that Popeye's chicken sandwich that everybody was freaking out about. So that is just a bun that's slathered in butter, toasted, then lettuce, pickles, and mayo. All right, so I was wrong. There's no lettuce. Yeah, okay, no lettuce. Mayo, pickles, butter, buns. Okay, I have all my ingredients here. I have my list. So we have to slather mayo on both buns, even though they are already covered in butter, that's fine. What I like about toasting the bun this way is actually that it makes it nice and soft. It like steams the bun. It makes it um, a lot less dense when you're biting into it. Also, I find that this vegan mayo is the best mayo to use for this. Any sort of like sandwich recipe. Okay, and then it says pickles. So because we just decided to do this on the fly, I don't have a ton of pickles. So we're using all the pickles that I have left in my fridge, which is a mishmash of pickles. All right, then we're gonna plop that guy on top and then put the lid on. I think we've hit crackle skin. Like look, what, what? Oh my God, you need to try this. What the hell? That looks so good. It, it's chicken. Like, it's, it's chicken. Can you hear that? Oh my God, it's so good. I have not had KFC in 10 years, but this is what I, it smells. Like I remember it has that like crunchy, like if I was to 
like pull the skin like I would the chicken skin back in the day. Like, look at that. So you look shook I'm eating this. I'm so confused. Let's try it. <laughs> what the fuck? This is ridiculous. A lot of chicken burgers can be really like heavy, right? Like the, if yeah. it was like seitan or whatever. No, it doesn't feel like that at all. Yeah, this is not that. Like I really want to try just like when you're like ripping the skin off. Here, let's try one. This. Yeah, that's wild. Even just like the skin by itself. Like you can hear that, right? Because. Yep. Yeah. That crackle crunch. Yeah, that's nuts. Texturally, it's really close. I think the chicken sandwich though is like supreme. Like, this it's is, so good. This is single-handedly the best chicken sandwich you've ever made. This is like what Popeye's wishes it could be. All right guys, there you have it. KFC chicken, completely vegan. Things I would change, if you are using MSG, don't add the extra salt. It is way too salty with the salt and the MSG. So if you're not using the MSG, keep the salt as is written. If not, omit the salt and just use the MSG. Other than that, I wouldn't change anything. It's delicious. It's so good. It's so salty. It, you really get that like crunchy flavor and texture. So yeah, there it is. I'm gonna go and eat all of this, but if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you want me to veganize next. Okay, bye!